What's the gas station? Still? It's part of the gas station. It looks like it. On this half hour episode of Thomas Family Travels, we did something amazingly special. Three generations of Thomas men returned to Clarendon, Jamaica, where my father-in-law was born and raised. Since my father-in-law left in the 1960s, we just assumed that he wouldn't remember much. But he remembered landmarks in different areas in Clarendon that were still there and still as he remembered them. That holds all the train tracks in Jamaica now. Mm -hmm. you know. The train would kick, went from where? where from Hamilton from, or up, up here? No, it went from where we were okay. there, yeah. Um, That's where Rona's people live up there. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I wonder how far up could have gone to say. That's where parents live. You know? Oh, oh yes. yes! That's where we have to go. Yes! Because we're okay. close to Cooking River now. Yeah. Yeah. I remember here, Johnny. There's a cook shop there. This is a little cook shop. All cook shop. Hold on. This is your this river. This is pumpkins, uh, my river, going into Bryant's Hill. So we cross uh, over and keep going we, cro around. we cross over and keep going. But would you believe it? They had a bridge like this when I was a kid, and it got washed away many a times. You see how high it is, right? It would get, the bridge would get washed out. Really? The whole bridge. Because it was much higher over here. The water was that, come up. I think the bridge is a little lower than this though. But the water, every now and then they would have a flood, maybe twice or three times when I was a kid, and it would take the bridge out. And we were stuck, we had no way to get from one side to the other. And they came in and built temporary bridges for us. So now I guess this is what they replaced it with. But all this wasn't here, of course. It was just overflow its bank. My mother was just dead. This is Pappy's River. This is Crooked River. I used to play there. Mm -hmm. Could we go down there and play? We do get down there. No, not down here. This we gotta find an area. I left before independence. Uh huh. So I've been that long. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Did they bring him up here too? Yeah, yeah, they bring him up here too? Yeah, yeah, they bring him up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and his wife right there. Yes. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. This is called pumpkin. This is pumpkin. You remember, Johnny? Very good. And the whole time, and the whole pumpkin now. Get something for them to eat. Uh -huh. And then we're going to come back and go back this way. Uh -huh. Good okay. to meet you. Okay. All right. Take care, gentlemen. Blessings on you. Thank you. Thank you. Here. Yeah, to go to school. To go what? to school. Well, it's huh? further back that way too, but right. I had to go up this road. I set them out. Yeah, to go to school. I used to walk this every day, five days a week. Well, school's further down. Yeah, no, my school is up here. Okay, you come I, from. I came from up there. You came from across the bridge. Across the bridge. Came over to this road here. And then get to walk in. And then get to walk in all the way to school. So when we hear people say, oh, I walk five miles to school every day, Monday through Friday, rain, yeah. sleet, or snow. Yeah, I feel both ways. <laughs> I feel both ways. There was a standpipe somewhere up here where we used to get water because there's no water at the house. It was right here, actually, because I remember this house was up here. There was a pipe here. We used to come up, I used to have to come up here to get water for the house, well, Drink, uh, drinking water. Yeah, that's a lot. Wow. And I would take it in a bucket, the pail. I would take it in the pail to go home. Here comes somebody. You know they ain't going slow. This is Crooked River. We go straight or we go? Uh, just, this is the town. Oh, this is the so town. Right, right. This is the town. So we have to find a way to get some food here. They have some more like bigger buildings. This used to be a Chinese store. So I see. Come by. Well, I was told by. if it says wholesale, it's still Chinese. <laughs> oh. Haberdashery. Look at the restaurant. Right Haberdashery is hard. Okay. I guess. So it, would you like a poopoo? No. I'm like an opposite poopoo. I'm an opposite poopoo. Now watch this. Watch it. Take those. Get up, man. Get up, <laughs> this guy? Yeah, let me see I fight this school. I beat him too, you know. I mean, you didn't beat him. No, man, I'm going to beat you. Who the fuck? 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 Who the I'm personally using an ICM car. I'm a leaper. I'm a bomber. I'm a leaper. 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 I'm a because I'm, I'm, I'm seven years old. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. So, Anna, you you're be, not angry. Anna, you're going to be tough. No, you're going to be tough. No, no. No, we don't fight bigger boys, though. No. Okay. What's up, Carmen? I'm kidding. I'm documenting. You're documenting. <laughs> That's my job. I'm a filmmaker. You didn't know? This is a BBC <laughs> documentary. Why not? <laughs> Okay, so there was a store here, Mr. King's store, and uh, Mrs. Edith was a lady, so black lady. 
Miss, uh, was looking so she wasn't that. Chinese. No, she wasn't Chinese. And down here used to be the train track. Okay. Oh, down here? Yeah, it was a tunnel, not like on the Oh, there's a school right there, Cooper River Primary School. That was the same motto? You don't remember? You think it's still, you know what they say about climbing, right? No. All the men are strong, mm -hmm. all the women are good looking, mm -hmm. and all the kids are above average. Behind the words, Jai, come over here. Come to the side, I can't see the words, Jai. Stand next to Pappy, yes. So what years did you go to school here, Daddy? I went to school here from about uh, 57, 58, 59, 60, 60, 60, 60, 57. Must have been 56. Started in 56. Mm-hmm. That was in sixth grade when I left. Wow. 61. Yeah. Um, Long time ago. There's somebody in here. Yeah, Oh. oh, is that right? Yeah, they go back. Come on. Monday. Go to River Primary School, Ministry of Education. Yeah, there is a Kingston oh, yeah, parish. Kingston is a parish. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, do you see two buildings about here, Daddy? Yeah. Yeah, I think I started over here. And after I was graduated to here. But this didn't have, you see why it was open on this side. All this side was open. There were no walls. Why the wonder what? Yeah, I don't know if it's John. I think it's John. Oh, you started back there. Wow, 66, your name is on it. Oh, my goodness. You said they're the same benches? They look like yes. the same thing. They look Where's just this? like this. What's this? Wow. It says Pappy Town. What? <laughs> so I, I know that. Wow. Not, you know, it's one of the fossils that Pat used to sit on. Fossils. Fossils. <laughs> These are historical documents. That, historical this is only one. This is only one. Congratulations, Pappy. Yeah, I don't know about classrooms. I'm in the classroom. Oh, you're there? Yeah. yeah, I started out in here. I started out in there. And then I went up to the beginning of the day. It was really good. Uh, well. Yeah, very long time, yeah. And she was about this big. She wasn't even as tall as John. And just a minute, and she was I was writing, taking writing on there, a writing class mm -hmm. right. And she used to walk around with a strap over her shoulder like this. Looking at all the you know, like this. Looking at all what the kids were doing. And I just knew I'd been practicing and I was like real good. And I'm sitting there and when she kept got over to my thing, I thought she was gonna give me a pat on the back. And she said, rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. <laughs> you can do better than that. You can do better than that, rubbish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like <laughs> uh. wow. we're that close. And Pops had a shot. 
right up. Well, I'll show you right up front. At least make sure. It was a shoemaker. Shoemaker shop. Well, how, how did you walk to school? Oh, no. Okay. So this was when my parents lived here. Okay. When they left in the 50s to go to England, you had to go. I went down there to live with Aunt Merle. And I'll show you the house that I used to live in. Didn't you move for something? And it's from that house that I went to England. Okay. Yeah, so, no, so this was not a, much of a walk. I mean, it's just across, across the fence from right here to go to school. Mm -hmm. But then once I moved down there, moved down there I had to walk back up. But I, Right so where would your house have been? It was, it was right around here. Let's go close this, I think. We used to walk up to that little building up there. My dad had, um, it was a shoe shop at one time. It was a little board building, but they knocked it down now. Right, right up there? Right where the other building is. Right? Regular wood, it was a wood building, wooden building. It wasn't long like this, it was kind of more length. Mm -hmm. This way across. We used to walk right past this shop. And like go down where those banana trees are and the other fir tree right there. We used to walk down there to get to the house. Wow. And Pops was in like this side and there was another side where this Mas Azi used to be. He's the tailor. Okay. We had a shoemaker on one side and a tailor on the other side. And what's, what's this line right here? Do you remember this? Yeah, I don't know. Man. Okay, guys. See, he's following you. We're going to ride around to the Ricky. Yeah. Okay, this, this trip would not be complete without the rating of an avocado tree and a starfruit tree. I see it. You got it? I got this one. Try to come get this one. See it right there? Right where the stick is, right where I'm pointing with the stick. Here, Daddy. Daddy. Ooh, look at me. Here. Look at me, Uma. Look at It's right there, if you want. The boys were surprised and even a little bit proud to see their 71-year-old grandfather in a starfruit tree. Daddy, mm -hmm. catch these. You have to walk a little closer, honey. Well, I see one, I see one, Daddy. Daddy, you Ooh, I see one, I'm not sure if I can reach it. No, Pop, Daddy, come. Daddy, come and catch this one. Wait, not ready yet. Let me get them from Jalan first. That's it. Um, keep going. <laughs> Soon we made our way to John's childhood home. So, we were surprised to learn that the owner, the one that John's mother sold the home to, was still there. The old man was dead, but the wife was still living in the house all these years. And now it was time to see that river, that same river that Pappy talked about as a child. The boys are so excited. Right behind that home, that childhood home, was the source of so many childhood stories that Pappy has told over the years. And the boys have finally made it to the river. You stayed in this house? Yeah, but where would you where were you staying if you watching close down? Oh.
That's what we stayed. Christina saying we stayed in that house, but I can't remember staying in that house. I remember I had rollers in my hair, and we were back here washing clothes. They're so excited. Look at them. They just had to get into this river. I don't know what it is. Anything that Pappy does or talks about, they're so curious. They want to see it. They want to touch it. They want to feel it. And this was an amazing experience to bring them back here. And not to just bring them here, but bring them with Pappy. Can you believe we could, we could jump off this rock here? You used to jump off the big rock? Yeah, that's how deep it was. And they used to, they used to have baptisms here. Weird, huh? All this was... This water was like four feet higher than it is now. You could jump off this rock and jump in the water. That's how high it was. Oh yeah, you can't do that now. Look at, look at that pumpkin growing. You see that pumpkin vine? Yeah. There's a pumpkin vine. How does it feel being back here? I could see. Oh, very nostalgic. It's been such a long time. You know, I, I, we came so when the little, Jason and Nikki were little kids, so that's probably 40, 40 years ago, maybe. <laughs> yeah, about 40 years ago. Are you came. surprised to see that things haven't changed much? That you can what, actually what, re what? recognize people? Right, they haven't have actually changed. What changes I've seen now are negative changes, really. Yeah. Nothing has really progressed, you know? Mm -hmm. And things seem to have, in a state of decay, right? Mm -hmm. No, everything's just been left. How did it feel seeing people you went to school with? Pretty yeah. much doing nothing. Well, <laughs> uh, all I can say is thank the Lord for taking me away from here mm -hmm. because um, but for the grace of God, that could have been me mm -hmm. around those places, hanging out, doing absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thankful to my parents for having the foresight to really take us out of the situation and take us to England and then subsequently Canada and the United States because, yeah, it's not clean. I could be cleaning tables and asking for tea. Yeah. yeah. Careful. Yeah, I could be asking for tips and so on. And, yeah. What so. part of your legacy are you wanting to pass on to your kids from this experience? Well, go ahead. Yeah. All right. My my greatest fear is that you know, first generations like myself mm -hmm. who move away and worked hard and achieved something. Mm -hmm. And then I see a second generation like you guys, Jason, uh, working hard. It, you guys have caught the spirit, like Jason, he's maintained the spirit. And so he's working hard, trying to achieve his goals. My big, biggest fear is that the younger ones, having been given so much, they may not have that hunger in their belly to strive as hard to surmount obstacles in order to achieve. What about the idea of, of, the, of your, your grandkids coming back to this place? Uh, are, are there certain things that you Yeah, 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 they have, yeah, the, cer the whole thing's come full circle now, right, really, because right. they're here now, living here, the grandchildren are living here now. Jamaica still has so much to offer in terms of educational opportunities. And along with that, there are lots of uh, entrepreneurial activities, business activities that they could be involved in and be very, very successful. Having been exposed to so many other things in the US and other places where they have lived and they have traveled so much 
around the world. Yeah. That and I think that there's one thing that Jason mentions all the time, and I wanted to get your take on it. He was saying that, you know, having the kids with a Jamaican upbringing, but with the UK and USA opportunities. Right, How right. do you see that, that concept or that ideal playing out for your kids, yeah. even after you're gone? Right, well, this is the first step. Uh, they're here now, and they've only been here just over a year in school, and so this is the first step to receive the education that they need, to receive the discipline that is here. And another thing that's very important, they can see um, that these kids here don't have everything handed to them. Right. No. Where in the States you can see folks, they, it's as if they get handouts here, handouts. I want these guys to have an appreciation for hard work and for struggle and for what it takes to make it to the top. And I think that they can indeed make it to the top. And you guys are doing a good job getting them here. And so I've gotten them into good schools here. And so, yeah, I want to see them uh, make those changes that they probably would not make in the U.S. And, you know, with the political atmosphere right now in the U.S., it's crazy. And I'm fearful that, I was fearful that they might get uh, yeah, caught up in that. Up in that. Yeah. Uh, not that it's a politics, but, you know, with policing, yeah. with yeah. black young men yeah. and yeah. all that kind of stuff. You know, it's so important that um, they not be discouraged or jaded yeah, or jaded by all of that stuff that they see going around so long be careful they not be slippery